Hi everyone, this is Xin Meng. Today I'd like to share with you our projects about weekly supervised layer segmentation. Given that we do not have full supervision, how can we leverage the existing partial data to learn a good model? Such problems are common in medical imaging, where acquiring full supervision requires specialized training and tra knowledge. Assessing lesion and tumor growth is a central problem in medical imaging for oncology. Required for assessing cancer burden and aiding radiologists in accurately labeling important findings. On the other hand, labeling dense mass is time consuming and challenging. Records is a standard way to roughly annotate the lesion extent in CT, but no dense mass are typically available. One approach to obtain segmentations is to use weekly supervised learning. By refining existing records using the grab card algorithm, one can obtain pseudo ground truths. Finally, Aguawa showed that it is possible to use this approach in co segmentation network to obtain accurate results. On the other hand, a co segmentation approach requires generating appropriate pair samples, therefore, requires a more complex and longer training procedure. In this work, we propose to replace the co segmentation process by a joint classification and segmentation network. We obtain the class labels by clustering latent records with k-means. Based on the records, we also generate pseudo ground truths using the ellipse algorithm. We perform classification on the encoder output and train our model in the multitask learning fashion to minimize the drawing loss. We evaluate our proposed methodology on CT and the motoscopic lesions. For CT, we consider the deep lesion dataset for which the ground truth pixel level segmentations are not available. Therefore, we use grab card based segmentations as ground truth. We also evaluate on the less dataset. While records is more commonly used for CT datasets, we use skin lesions as an additional test case due to the wider availability of publicly accessible datasets and the segmentations. We evaluate on Hamilton K consisting of dermatoscopic images and segmentation masks. For our analysis, we use the deep lab with Ray Plus following the previous co segmentation approach. We also re implement the deep lab with Ray Plus with co segmentation. For the MTL method, we add a classification head with K classes at the bottleneck. First, we visualize the result of clustering different lane types according to the records measurements. It can be seen that the clustering procedure groups lanes into classes of similar size, position, and relative rotation. Since the model has a parameter k that controls the number of clusters, we check the performance according to an ablation study. Obviously, the performance reaches a peak with the optimal k. Next, we compare the performance of the baseline deep lab with three plus segmentation model named A1, the co segmentation model named A cosec, and our proposed multitask learning architecture named A1 plus L. Here is the visualization on the three datasets. On lesion examples with blurry boundaries, we observe that integrating the class information enhances the model performance to identify lesion shape, location, relative rotation, and size. We can see that A1 is more susceptible to the surrounding noises and thus generates worse segmentations. In general, ECOSEC has a comparable performance, but our method generates more refined segmentations. Here shows a quantitative comparison using dice where higher numbers lead to better performance. On average, our method outperforms A1 and ECOSEC over all three datasets. This is a quantitative comparison using parameter arrow. In this case, lower number are better. Our method achieves the best performance in terms of the average parameter arrow for all three datasets. Here we perform a quantitative comparison using AVD where lower numbers are better. Our method outperforms A1 and ECOSEC in deep lesion, but fails to outcompete ECOSEC in this and Hampton K. However, the differences are only around 0.1, which is very trivial compared with our method's advantages in other measurements. 
This plot shows the training time comparison in GPU hours. Since we only add a classification layer on top of A1, our method does not have much additional parameters compared with A1. Thus, our approach achieves better performance than ECOSAC in general, with only one-fourth of its training time across all three datasets. To summarize our contribution in this paper, we propose a new joint detection and segmentation scheme in end-to-end -end fashion for weekly supervision using rare case ellipse. We demonstrate how to modify existing segmentation architectures to incorporate this new algorithm. We conduct a systematic analysis of the utility of the proposed new methodology and show that it qualitatively and qualitatively outperforms prior baselines in three datasets. Our code is available at our webpage. Please let us know if you have any questions. Our poster session will start after 4.45 on Friday. Please feel free to come by if you are interested. Thanks for watching.